What is that? What is it? Grapes? No grapes ain't that big. Walnuts. Catfish bait. Thought it may have been grapes, but rotten beef jerky? It ain't grapes. Too big to be grapes. Hey. Grapes? It smells like crap. Bingo. Phil, this isn't yours, is it? No, that come from a beaver. Here's the thing, when beavers start coming around, it's all hands on deck. Why did you bring the dung to the office? So I could teach you about how to track a varmint. He could have just called and told us. You have to have a visual. The problem with these boys is you just can't tell them. You have to give them a visual cue. Just call me Phil, follow the dung, Robinson. In law, it's called habeas corpus, as in show me the body. With beavers, it's habeas dungus. Show me the dung. What I need, boys, is a few good men for a beaver hunt in the morning. Who's volunteering? Oh, I'm in. I'm definitely in. Yeah, I love poop. I'll do it. Good work, Jeff. I'm in. Mullet man's in. John Luke, what are you doing here? Y'all ready to help me out? I can't. I got to take Bella to karate practice. Huh? <laughs> hey. You had grief. What about you two heavy ones? You boys no, in? No, 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 no. These two are staying to work. Hey. We can live with it. We got a pretty good crew. In the morning, be ready to go. Phil, you're leaving your... Yeah, you can have it. John Luke, take that. Yeah, beaver dung up ahead. They're here. Yep, I smell them. He smells them, boys. It'll lead you to the beaver dam. Just follow the dung. What a beaver dung means is that you have located beaver. Well, they don't like me, and I don't like them either. What's left of them? So, so the feeling is mutual, right? The feeling is mutual. Beavers eat entire trees. What do you do if you own a bunch of land? You say, I don't want to see this all turned into dead snags. Why would the Almighty even make a beaver? That is a good question. I've talked with them to try to get them to understand it, but uh, they won't work with me. Therefore, it's what fool with us, you need to act. You follow their dung and put a bullet in their head. Look here, boys, all y'all got to do is find his living room for me, and then I'll introduce him to my little friend here. The Mayhaw Jelly? OK. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what it looked like, but hey, this is what we call in Nam napalm. So si, why did you put that in with the dynamite? Dynamite is explosive, and so is this jungle jelly. We're talking about two very unstable things together, three if you count the dynamite. Hey, look, if you blown up one beaver down, you know, hey, you could have blown up a million of them. That's why you got to keep things interesting, OK? We have instability on one leg, yeah. instability hey. on oh, another leg, hey. being held together hey. by the most unstable man I know. That's right, me. Danger, that is the spice of life. And there's nothing more dangerous than my homemade jungle jelly napalm. This is to blow something up with. It'll keep you on your toes. Hey, look, and if you don't watch it, it'll blow your toes clean off. We fixing to have us a big fireball going here, boys. So all we have to do is follow the dome. Y'all ready? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hey, you think hey. we ought to divide that napalm from the dynamite? <laughs> no. Well, well, well. Yep, there's the mother of all beaver dams. We have hit the mother load, boys. We have identified boys. the problem, boys. For beaver dams go, OK, look, you may come up on one. It's a one-room cabin. Another one, OK, may be a two-room cabin. How many beavers does it take to construct something like this? And this one here, hey, we're talking about a palace. Some of them like luxury. It's like the Death Star, like Castle Grayskull. Don't want to be in the water, OK? That's the low-rent district, OK? This is the system. Sophisticated beavers, OK? <laughs> Pretty good one. Ain't that? Yep, that's a good one there. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Do you realize y'all do that anymore? Do what? Do what? You're repeating everything Phil says. Why do you do that? Why do you always repeat that? Let's do this. Well, are we going to do this or not? See, he did it again. He did do it again. It's starting to get on my nerves. It's been getting on my nerves. 
Uh, y'all both lost y'all's mind. Are we going to blow this thing, or are we going to sit here and talk about it? Oh, we're going to blow it all right. Boom, boom. Boom, boom! Boom, boom! John Luke, let's get the dynamite. Hey, when we come up on the beaver dam like that, at first, there's a little bit of old oh, no. But that quickly turned to, oh, yeah. Because I get to use dynamite today. Get Si away from the dynamite. I'll get the napalm, boys. We Y'all get the dynamite. Need the napalm. There's no better feeling because, hey, it makes me feel like dying old mate. Hold this like you would a young baby bird. Remember, it's harmless as long as you're a couple of hundred yards away from it. So how'd you bring that spool of safety fuse? I don't know nothing about no safety fuse. I asked you if you had some. You said, yes, I'll bring it. You don't remember that conversation? I do not recall that. I said, I'll bring the dynamite. You bring the safety fuse. Now, see, them two don't go together. If you bring the dynamite, you got to bring everything that goes with it. We had a conversation about it. I don't it. recall that conversation. Well, let me get this right. You don't remember that conversation? No. Nobody brought the safety fuse? No. Have I got to do everything? If you're going to do everything, you got to start by doing something. That's actually a good point, Sam. No. I could just go to town and buy a roll of fuse. Hey, look, all you got to do is put napalm all over the dam, light it, and then, hey, it'll take care of the dynamite. But how would you set the napalm off? Well, we could just Rambo it. What do you mean? There are three people in my life that I have taken combat advice from. The Lord Almighty, my dad, and John Rambo. Fire arrow. Shoot. Four words. Flaming arrow ignites dynamite. That work? I've been waiting for this day a long time. You know, you've seen the Olympics. Yeah, the problem was he missed. They had to fake light it. Huh? Yeah, it didn't work. Legolas could do it. Who? He's an elf. You talking about like a Christmas elf? Nope. Who are you talking about? Legolas. Where does he live? Dude, you've never watched Lord of the Rings? I say we just go for it. Maybe we don't have much choice, really. I'm getting the napalm, Boris. What's the worst thing that could happen? We could all die. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, boys. Light it. Lighten it up. Slit. Safety off. <clears throat> Can't believe it. You missed that whole beaver down. Legolas could do it. Maybe that's some faulty napalm. Hey, I don't think you hit it. Si, you can't even yeah. see from back oh, there. Oh, I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just right here, the beaver sticks. Woof. I think I peed my pants a little. Oh, Jeff peed in his pants. That's all it took with some dynamite and some precision shooting. Did you notice the flame on it? Thanks to yours truly and the J E L O. Oh no! Whoa, whoa. Hey. Okay. All right. Okay, boys. A little secondary there. That was a beaver blowing up. Yeah. He got to it. But a flaming arrow came through. I feel like I'm ready for the Hunger Games now. Hey, look. Speaking of that, I'm hungry. Yeah. I can eat a bite. Yeah. 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 There's always room for napalm, boys. Mission accomplished.